So this is a commercial stream. Uh, you're the new member. Uh, this is your orientation. And uh, I guess the goal is to make this as interactive as possible. So I'm hoping that if you have any questions, feel free. There's mics back there so everybody can hear you or stand up if you've got a big voice. Um, but I want to make sure that whatever messages we have are as understood as we possibly can in this short period of time that we've got. So this is what the whole symposium is going to be about. Ant Plus is a brand. And it's not our brand. It's your brand. You own it. You're the ones that are responsible for turning it into a success. It's very successful now. It's got nothing but room to grow. And we, we're going to ask you all to put as much effort as you can uh, in, in forwarding the Ant Plus brand in the world. So it's your brand. We want you to learn the ins and outs as much as you possibly can, both from a, a marketing and a, and a commercial stream and a technical stream. There's device profiles and a lot of great stuff that the app guys have done. Sebastian's going to be talking a little bit later about the basics of, of Ant and Ant Plus, uh, all those whiz-bang things that happen inside the silicon that make this so easy to work with. The Alliance, you know, it's a, it's a group. We want to form a, a, a swell. We, it's like a college fraternity. We'd like to make you all remember that when you're looking to save somebody or looking to support somebody in, a, in an argument or whatever, your alliance buddies are your next best friends. And we want to try to help you get to that. And there's a lot of competition in the room. There's people that you know, make the same product, maybe even targeting the same customers. So hopefully we can get everybody fighting a different battle instead of uh, fighting each other. So. And we want you to ask a lot of questions. Um, that's how you learn. Uh, that's how I learn. Uh, and any question, no matter how silly you think it is, is not silly at all. It's, it's an important piece of information that we haven't completely explained to you yet. And you get to meet a lot of new business allies. This, the last probably five, six hours since this morning, I've been out in the lobby and walking around and introducing people to people. And I, I just see the lights in people's eyes that you do that, yeah, I need that, or I really need to learn about that. That's what this whole commercial session is all about. If you've got something you need that you aren't good at, there's probably somebody in this room, or at least somebody in this building that has that. And if we put the two of you together, you'll both be successful and the brand will grow tremendously and will all theoretically be very successful. We want you to expand your market naturally. Market expansion is the only way to survive. So let us help. Anything we can do, how can we help you become successful? How can we help you make your product better? How can we help you expand your market? So simple little agenda. We're going to talk about the history of Ant. Uh, market analysis is kind of how it you know, fits into the overall stream of wireless. Uh, Ant Plus history, which, you know, Ant Plus, again, is a superset of Ant, and it's the way Ant is used in this vertical market that we enjoy. Um, the ecosystem, we'll talk specifically about a lot of those things. So, from the history, uh, Dynastream Innovations, uh, we were born in Cochrane, Alberta, back in 1998, uh, and we, our expertise came from um, sports. Uh oh what do I got going here? This is not good. Okay, these are old slides I, I brought in, so I think there's some automation to them. The rest will be okay. So these are the steps. Incorporated first product to Nike, shipped in 2000. Developed with Sunto in 2004, Ant was. Uh, single chip released in 2005. We got purchased in 2006. And the rest is history, it seems. <laughs> so, okay, so I think I'm into where I have control again. There we go. So this is a proprietary low power radio. Nordic Semiconductor and a couple of other manufacturers uh, live in this space. This is non-IEEE, non-standard type of radio. It's used for a variety of different things. And you can see, this is the data right down the bottom and your effective range on the top. It's a big, big area. It covers, you name it. Um, and that's really hard to make a product out of. It services a bunch of needs, but it's just a platform for a lot of people. We tried uh, using some of the earlier technology and found that it was too broad-based to serve our real needs. So Bluetooth had came along back in, I think, 96, claiming that they were going to remove all of the wires. 
Um, and I, I think there's still wires out there, so they weren't entirely successful. But they found themselves in a relatively good data rate, um, relatively good distance. Um, so that's kind of where they fit in. Um, our friends at Wi-Fi, uh, ubiquitous, they're everywhere. They're at Starbucks. You know, there's Wi-Fi all over this hotel. Uh, it serves a very interesting market space. Again, a lot of data rate, fairly high distance. Um, again, not where we want to be. Uh, our friends at Zigbee uh, decided that they were going to try to be very long distance uh, with a very small data rate and, and run on a fairly low power. Um, and they've been fairly successful. Unfortunately, they just have a little bit too many revisions to their product to make them compatible backwards and forwards. So um, we didn't choose to go that direction. Uh, also wideband, uh, it's the dodo of, of the wireless world. It came and kind of disappeared just as quickly, but promising stupidly large data rates with very short distances and really low, low, low power. But it just, there was no use case that really made a lot of sense to it. So I don't think it's going to end up resurging. And then we have Ant and Ant Plus. So we chose to pick this little corner over here because there was a need for PAN networks. There was a need for the ability to monitor simple data structures, simple message rates on a coin cell battery. That first product that we made going to the watch was a real challenge because the watch runs on a coin cell. An ant had to be developed for that. So we didn't think of all of these things. We just focused ourselves on, on that small little area. And we carved out a, a pretty nice niche. And we're not trying to sell you guys on that because you're all drinking from the Kool-Aid. So that's great. So the ecosystem now has become uh, a solution that works. So if you think of a single pan back in the old days, you're running or you're cycling, you were by yourself. You looked at your watch. You had your average. Uh, heart rate, you had your peak and, and, and low heart rate, you had your speed, you had your distance, and that was data that you used and you remembered and that, that was it. And then we kind of developed the, uh, the next step of getting into the fitness equipment with uh, a communication of uh, um, cadence and speed sensors and the power sensors and they started talking to each other and then there was multiple paths. This is now the culmination of a simple star network um, that is servicing a use case that makes a lot of sense. The data no longer is just you and your watch. The data is the power data, the cadence data, and everything going to a mobile platform that you can bring along and start talking to um, a PC, cell phones, or whatever. So that's what we've created, and we're going to continue developing that further. Uh, we have a long-term vision with, with this in mind. Everything is going to just work. We want to make it so it just works. If you think of Apple and, and their concept, they're a why solution. Why do you want to use this? Because I'm you know, counterculture, because I'm uh, an artist, or whatever. That's why I choose Apple, because it's different. It's not how or what it does. That's what we are. We want to make sure that you guys see we're doing this because it just works. We're trying to remove the hassles at the consumer level or even the developer level. And we want to uh, make the sectors able to grow on their own. Again, it started with running, moved to cycling. We're now in the fitness side of things. We're in the health side of things. Eventually, these sectors will work and expand on their own, all because of the long-term vision and the fact that we chose to make it just work. And the more we make it easy, the easier it is for us to convince people to use it. The uh, more times you don't have to push a button, the more times you'll use the product. Um, that's the overall goal of what we're trying to do. So, in general, this is what Ant Communication, those of you that perhaps haven't used our product yet, I know there's some people that just joined uh, last week, <laughs> and well, I thank you for, for taking that, uh, that plunge into space without really knowing what was going to happen. But this is the way Ant Communication is based. You have a little bit of protocol on either, uh, either side, and you have a simple payload of eight bytes. So, you know, that's, that's what gives you coin cell operation. Then you have to determine when you're making your connections from transmitter to receiver, you have to define what those channels look like. And there's three different network styles. An open, which is what the parts ship with. So you'll get a, a zero as your network uh, um, key. Um, you have the AMP plus, which we all use. It's the shared network key. And then we have a private network for those of you that want to make sure that no one else has access to that key. It's under your control. But in every case, you have to define 
the frequency, the network key, the message rate, the transmission type, that type of information in order to be able to establish a transmit and receive link. But within Ant Plus, we've done all that heavy lifting for you. So everything is completely defined. That gives you a chance to go in and be something that you weren't 10 minutes ago. And just by using the, the tools that we're going to talk about, you can get a product up and going really quickly and, and oppress your, uh, your management, which is always And is there any management in the room? Ed, you're a manager. No? <laughs> so when we, when we come by and we look like we worked really hard and we show you something, uh, it is really fairly simple because it was all given to us from, a, from a, an Ant Plus definition point of view. So again, eight bytes of data, the network ID, channel ID information. We all familiar with this? Any questions on what these things mean? It's basically how you define what that device is and, and what it's supposed to be doing. 16-bit device number, real simple. You put it in, sometimes it's part of a serial number, sometimes it's a random number generated, and then the data that you add in. And there's these case specialties down at the bottom where we start talking about secure pairing in the medical world. We, you just can't have a, a heart rate talking to a watch in the fitness world, um, it, it live in the medical world because they're very worried about your heart rate information going to somebody else. So there's secure pairing, there's an authentication in the link layer. We're going to be talking about encryption in, in the future, so that's not something that we have now, but onboard encryption, which would help, again, to keep that data secure. Uh, the key transfer process of inside encryption, and then the formatting of the data, the file structures and that. Those are all use case kind of specialties that we've, we've developed under Amazon. So there's the easy way. <laughs> and should you decide that you want to make a, a private uh, setting, you go ahead and use these. Your Ant Plus members, you have the right to use them. You just don't use the Ant Plus key. You don't use the Ant Plus logo. But all that work is still done for you.